Hey guys, welcome back to Build. So today is the first episode of Build School. The anticipation and the hype for this series has been real. So I want to thank you guys for just being so supportive about this series. You're just like, I can't wait for it. It's going to be amazing. And every time I literally come on the server now, everyone is like, where is Build School? Well, Build School, it's here. I've come up with a structure for the video. I've come up with a layout of how things are going to plan out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, this is going to be a really fan-dependent video. And what I mean by that is it's not really going to get many views to start off with, like in the search results. It's going to be all you guys that are subscribed to me. So if you could help share this series around with your friends, maybe put it on social media, that would help me out a lot, guys, and that would be massively appreciated. But let's get into the first section of this video. So at the start of every build school video, I'm going to do one build school video a week so we can have loads of projects in it and so it's, you know, really high quality. And at the start of every video I do for build school, we're going to show the promoted builder of the week. That's right. Every week we are going to promote one builder one supporter plus from the plot world to build a rank. Of course, if they are worthy. But in this week's case, we've had three people who have been promoted. And number one here, which is one of my favorite builds on the plot world, is made by Abla. Dude, this is beautiful. He builds in this kind of Shiv style, but he doesn't copy Shiv. He's got his own little flair with it. And I just love everything about this build, from the landscaping to his palette of materials around the house, which gives it this really cool, unique kind of bushy vibe, to the concept kind of theme of it, like this, this kind of support thing that comes out. Let me fix this for you, buddy. It appears to have broken, but that's supposed to go like that. To this concept kind of theme that he's got going for him. Now, Mikey, he kind of started a trend with this on the server with that townhouse review that I did a while back. These really amazing looking kind of support things. And it just looks incredible. And he's added this beautiful custom tree in the middle, which I'm pretty sure he's made himself. So, you know, well done, Abla. That's really creative of you. The house itself has this barn kind of vibe. It's very modern. It's very concept. And I, I really, really like it. I like this section of the build the most, the back of it, showing all that glass. So it lets in a lot of natural lighting into the build itself. The interior isn't finished yet, guys. But just by looking at the standard of how he's built so far, this guy is definitely worth builder rank. The garden as well is small, unique. And it's pretty beautiful. I mean, we got this lovely little outdoor chilling area, some retractable ladders, which represent kind of like um, outdoor kind of blinds. And then you've got this simple but really nice swimming pool design. And behind the garden itself, he's actually done some landscaping, which looks incredible with some more custom trees. Just looks amazing, dude. But anyway, guys, let's take a quick look at the interior so I can show you all what that's all about. And then we'll get into the next section of the video, which I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So the entrance is through here. Let's take a look at the build. So straight when we get in here, we have a brand new design of coat hanger. I've never seen this before, dude. This looks incredible. It's so simple, but so effective. We've got a place to also hang your coats over here. This might actually be a hat stand as well. And then we just got like a nice little uh, hallway table. Through here, we got a simple but nice bathroom. Look how he's used the ladders here as blinds. Very, very creative. I also love the open plan kind of feel of this place. There's not too many walls inside, which allows a lot of natural lighting to flow through the house, which gives it this really open modern feel, which is pretty beautiful. And also the flooring materials go really well. When you put two very strong materials next to each other like that, it's very easily to mess up and the connected textures can look crap. But Abla has executed it with this build. It looks incredible. It's mostly birch, but through here it looks like he has. What is this? Oh, this is the new obsidian block on BCS uh, flows that it looks incredible. Uh, and we just got a simple nice designer kitchen here. Really cool. I like how he's added these custom signs as well steam power on on off and then we got i take it the temperature then we got this um steam extractor or in other words a range hood a really cool cupboard design which looks amazing and also guys check out these lamps 
or these uh, C, what do we call these again? Uh, ceiling lamps? <laughs> I dubbed up there. These are so realistic. They're probably the most realistic design of ceiling lighting I've like ceiling lamps I've ever seen before. Amazing man. Really, really creative. So you can see that he's used his own creativity, his own original design ideas. Check this out. Like it's got like a little lighting feature over this table. Amazing man. <laughs> I love it. We got the moose heads on the wall. It's a big thing on BCS right now. Everyone loves using these moose heads. And the place just looks incredible. So very, very worthy rank up, Abla. Amazing build. So many original ideas. I love your style. This is the number one build of the week. And very well deserved promotion. Great job, Abla. Hey guys, welcome back. So now what we're going to be covering is the top five builds in the plot world. So number one goes to Abla. And number two just has to go to Manu. Now Manu joined us uh, showing potential already. But he's come so far on the plot world. And he's come from creating houses over here. Let's just show you guys these. Which, you know, they weren't bad. But they're far from the standard that he's building to nowadays. Like he was building stuff like this. And stuff like this. And now... He's creating absolutely beautiful structures like this. Man, you, you've come so far, and I'm really, really glad that you have done. He's showing some fantastic potential, and this build is full of original and amazing ideas. And in fact, the concept of this building is what interests me the most. So, the concept of this building is, he's bought a plot of land... The plot of land maybe has a couple walls of a very old eroded building, as you can see right here. But maybe when he bought the property, or he bought the area of land, the planners of the place told him, you can't destroy this old wall, right? Because it's a part of a historical building, and therefore you're not allowed to knock it down, and you have to keep it. And what he's done is he's kept that side of the wall, and... He's built a brand new modern house in the middle of it. And he's used the modern wall as kind of like a support. And also to add a little bit of privacy to his garden. Incredible, man. I also love these solar panel designs. This is actually my design of um, Sun Lounger. I came up with this design of Sun Lounger uh, like a while ago. And now everyone on the server is using it. And man, he's, he's gone and he's created these solar panel designs. And, dude, they're amazing. I've never seen that before. Also, I absolutely love the custom trees. And what makes this build even better is the interior. The interior is incredible. This would go for B-plus standard on main world. So the fact that you're hitting this standard already, man, is incredible. So outside here, we got like a hanging seat. I love that design. We get through the hallway, we got some nice shelving units, uh, some more storage. And just note, guys, how this house itself isn't really that big. But the amount of rooms and what he's actually included within it is a lot of stuff. And, you know, the planning and the floor plan layout is really well executed. So if we get through here, we have the bathroom. So we have a shower, a toilet, a toilet roll, and this really nice sink design. That's pretty cool, actually, dude. And I love how he's included these realistic, like, little piece, pieces of detail, like this right here. A retractable blind, as you can see. Amazingly creative. Well done, dude. And also, the supports really do complement this build from the interior and exterior perspective. So, great job as well, dude. Like, look at this. It's a really little lounge. He really doesn't have much space to play with here. But what he's actually managed to include within this little lounge... Just looks perfect. I mean, it's simple, but it's also really effective. We also have a kitchen right behind here, which looks amazing. I love the fact that the smoke from the oven will go up into this smoke extractor and pump straight out the top of the build. So creative. I love this guy's ideas. It's amazing, man. Honestly, this wall divider as well to give the bedroom a little bit of privacy is a really nice addition. And the views from the bedroom itself... 
just look incredible. So that has been my news build. Now let's get into number two. Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm sorry, I mean number three. Number one goes to Wabla, but number three goes to this guy. Now let's see what the uh, name tag of this guy is. I forgot for a second. It's made by Defect, and Defect is building an organic barn conversion. Guys, check this out. And this guy has come so far as well. I mean, let's let's get into what he was building before he built this. And Defect also showed a lot of potential before this project. But he also actually managed to earn Builder Rank just like Havla did and just, just like Man Yu did with this project. Look at this. He was building this kind of stuff before, which, you know, it shows a lot of potential. His townhouse designer especially is very simplistic but clean looking. And, you know, this little modern house is also quite nice. All support the plus standard until he built until he built his new project, which I have to say is just amazing, man. The structure is so unique, and the layout is awesome. I, I just love it. I mean, it is so white, <laughs> but it really does work. It's very, very hard to pull off a project with not many materials in usage, and he's kept his color palette of materials fairly simple as you can see i also love how a section of the house is also used to used as a garage i think that's amazing honestly dude this is awesome so the interior of this build and the exterior itself still isn't finished yet but we are pretty sure dude you are gonna earn builder standard so far it's builder standard if you can pull off the interior to the same level of standard as your exterior you will easily make main world builder so guys, let's get on to the next project. This one will be project four. Cut recording. Hey guys, so welcome back. So now we are on project four and this is by Man Yu again. This is actually not too far from his house, which we just took a look at. And this is a massive, massive sleek house. Look at this thing. In my opinion, this is pretty damn awesome. Now, I will criticize it a little bit. Man, you, I think it is a little bit too long. But the house itself is amazing. The layout is really unique and cool. And the landscaping itself isn't too bad. Now, this wouldn't reach Builder Standard on the main server, but it's definitely a really cool project that I can show you guys. So downstairs in the basement, on the ground level, He's actually used a lot of unique designs, which I really, really do like. For example, these speakers. Look at that, an end rod with some glass on top. Never even seen that design before. But that is, that is so amazing, man. It works so well. It's so simple, but it's effective. It's like when Merwin came up with them awesome fence chair designs. We were like, how the hell did we never think of that before? But that is so amazing. Also, this table design on this kind of rug. Is really really nice it looks so good separating from I believe this is a spruce or dark oak wood flooring we also have a pool table down here so this is kind of like um, it's like a chilling area like a games room and then we have an area for storage here a very very big bathroom which looks really really awesome and through here we have like a maintenance room so this is where your boiler is and you know all that kind of stuff and then it actually breaks off. So to actually access the next level of the house, you actually come into the hallway again and have to walk up these stairs, which I really like that idea. That's pretty cool, man. You. Now, getting into the house itself, it is very, very wide and very spread out, this build. It's definitely not lacking any space whatsoever. This is like the coach or the bus of modern houses. But it's, it's pretty nice and it's very unique. Uh, I like this table design as well. I haven't seen that done before. The kitchen as well is very simplistic and wide, but it works really well. It is so simplistic, in fact. But check it out. I think it works pretty fantastic. What do we have through here? Oh, we have like a little ironing board in here. It's just like a utilities room. You got your washing machines and all that kind of stuff. Then we have a really nice lounge here with a hanging seat. Always love to see them in builds. We got a modern fireplace. That is a really cool design. And then you have some like little, um, 
you know, wooden heads right here to just feed the fireplace. I love it when people role play builds like that. I think it's really creative. Through here, we have what appears to be like a walk in wardrobe. So you can pick up your um, coats here, <laughs> your shoes here, uh, and then maybe some towels or like, you know, other coats there. That's really, really cool. Uh, next, we have the bathroom. Pretty simple, but it uh, appears to work quite nicely. I do like one thing about this build, though, and that is from where you walk up, you can see the entire length of the house, and most rooms are accessible from the right or left side of the hallway. So you can walk from one room to the house and be able to access almost every single room from one side, which is, you know, pretty unique, and it's a pretty cool layout design. So through here, we have a bedroom and an office, which is a really nice combination right here. I also really like this um, this storage design. I like it when people put storage like designs into walls. I think it's really cool and it's a great way to also save some space inside your project, inside your house. Once again, he's gone with a simplistic design, but you know, it flows and it works really nicely. He hasn't overdone the interior, it is, very, it is kept very simple, but it does work quite nicely. I also really like how you've got this separation of sandstone and sand for the light design. And you've also got the playhead on a backwards lever connecting to an end rod. What the magic, what the word edit magic. Really, really nice dude, we've got a big playhead there. Uh, let's get into the next part of the build. So what do we have in here? Like a Oh, like another kind of walk-in wardrobe. I love these shirt player heads, by the way. I think that's so freaking cool. And also, the views of this house would be absolutely incredible if it was backing onto, like, a forest or something. You know, great job, man, you. Here we have another bedroom. This might be the master bedroom, since he has got a massive TV and also, like, a personal kind of chilling area, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's check out the next section of the build. Oh, so through here we have like an office slash conference area. So, you know, you've got your main man at the back with all his like um, folders, you know, all his like records behind him. And then your clients would sit here. And I love how the table also flows through these walls. And you've got some grass also like underneath. Like just separate it in the middle of the table. That's just like a really nice touch of detail. So that has been my news build. Now let's get on to a project number five hey guys so welcome to project number five now this build is very far from completion and i have to note that before getting into checking out this project but i just got to say that this house is looking so promising so far and the shapes are just so beautiful so this was actually made by anthony master now on builds creative 2.0 he was actually a builder, but he didn't quite meet standards for 3.0 since we really did raise our standard level. And dude, this build is looking amazing. The shapes just flow and work so well. I was talking to Dragon Ass about this the other day, and he said, yeah, it just it looks amazing. And the garage design as well, like how it's also connecting onto the house, like another extension of the barn conversion. Just looks incredible, like honestly. Amazing job, dude. Not much to showcase here, but I gotta say, it is looking pretty damn fancy. Alright guys, that has been the top 5 builds on the plot world. Hope you guys enjoyed, and now what we're gonna do is hop into the next section of the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So the next section of the video is going to cover the most improved builder, in my opinion, this week on the plot world. And that award has to go to Zalvi. Now Zalvi... He's always been like a helper on Build Creative. He's actually been here since Build Creative 1.0, which most of you guys don't know about unless you've searched Minecraft Modern City into YouTube. It's actually one of the first results. And that was my first ever server. Zalvi was actually a builder on that. He never met Builder Standard for BCS 2.0 or 3.0, but he's making a massive improvement on this plot world so the first house he built was this one and to be honest if you sum up the whole of modern building within minecraft this would be to a good standard but on bcs of course our standards are very very high 
and this is very far from builder standard. This is an average supporter standard build on the plot world. So what I told him is to make some real life houses, get a good understanding of what floor plans should look like and good, get a good understanding of like modern structures, you know, how things should be laid out, how it should look and just kind of get an idea of how a house is constructed and put together. So when you come to building modern houses, you have a better understanding of what you're doing. He then went and made a real life house, which is over there. And then he made this a massive massive step up from his previous project looks a lot lot better and it actually had some nice features as well such as this kind of uh floating decking area as you can see over the swimming pool which was really nice and it had an outdoor kind of like um outdoor fireplace chilling area and this build honestly isn't that bad don't know why I just TP back there. That was a bit weird. Uh, but then after that, Zelvi actually moved on and created this project. Which is in a whole new level. A whole new category of standards. And this is a modern barn conversion. Admittedly, he did have a little bit of help from Shiv. But from what Shiv told me, Zelvi did most of it. So let's check this out. So it's an eco barn conversion by Zabalaba. <laughs> and we have some strapped up logs for your fireplace, a little trailer. So I guess you can transport these materials back and forth when you need them. It also has solar panels and water collectors. So I do like the whole theme of the eco, the eco theme. I think it's really, really smart. And I like it when people role play in that kind of thing because I think it's you know, pretty cool, pretty interesting when people go and make stuff like that. Like, this is actually for the house. You know, it's actually going to keep the house warm. It's going to give the house some electricity. And these right here, the water collectors, are going to supply the swimming pool and the tap water with a sustainable resource of water. So, nice, you know, nice thinking, Zelvi. Uh, this house is pretty cool. It's got some really nice features. The swimming pool, once again, is pretty cool. And the interior actually isn't too bad. Now, this was the build that actually gave Zelvi support the plus on the server. So, as you can see, the interior is actually really, really clean looking. And the layout from his first build is massively improved. The kitchen, the kitchen is just phenomenal, man. This is incredible. Damn, check that out. And I also like the little bush features, you know, he's got like a small little garden uh, within the house right here, like a greenery area just to, you know, add some nice like life to the build to give it some color because it's very like white, black and gray, which is kind of like the uh, the main kind of modern colors when you sum it up, like the monotone colors. Here we have the upstairs, which is fairly simple, but as you can see, Zalvi is really, really improving improving so nice job Zalvi I think you've done a good job here and you've really improved you've taken on the tips tricks and advice that me and Shivery have given you and you're on your way to build a standard after building that he actually built two of these townhouse style buildings the first one inspired by Mikey Mub Mikey actually kind of started a trend on the server with these white concept looking townhouses with a build review that I actually did. A lot of people got inspiration from that video I really liked his style and tried to make their own versions. And Zalvi made one right here. A little bit on the messy side from the sides but the interior is quite nice. The layout makes sense as you can see the kitchen is real nice dude you're again really good at making these kitchens. Let's check the upstairs. And the upstairs is also pretty clean. The layout upstairs is a little bit messy in my opinion, dude. But honestly, it's not bad. And it's a well-fitted Supporter Plus standard build. So congratulations on your rank. You know, keep taking advice from Shivery. Uh, you're learning from some of the best. That man is crazy. And as I can see, you're really, really justifying your standard now. Look at this. This is a brutalism modern house by Zalvi. Dude, I think this is your style, man. You need to go with this brutalism style. This is your style. Damn, not bad. Never been a fan of the messy beds, but I know a lot of people like them. 
So this is really cool. He's tried to build something which is, you know, not really showcased much on the server. And I do like brutalism style. It's just very, very hard to pull off. So really nice build, Zalvi. Congratulations on Supporter Plus. And congratulations on the award of the most improved builder on the plot world. You've really come far. And, you know, I see great potential in your builds for the future. So congrats, man. Let's get on to the next part of the video, guys. Hey guys, welcome to the last part of the video. So this is the part of the video that makes build scores seem relevant. This is the part of the video where I'm going to be taking one house or one project every single week from one person. And we're going to be talking about the house. We're going to be saying what we like about the house, what he could have done to make the house look better. So I'm going to be giving him some tips, tricks, and advice. And then what we're going to do at the end of the video is something really, really cool. We're actually going to be showing him the version of the house that me and another builder will take and completely overhaul. So we've taken this house, this version, and we've changed it from a supporter standard build into a supporter plus standard build. And we're going to explain to Cooley what he can do to improve his house in the future and to improve his designs. So hopefully one day he will be promoted to supporter plus standard. Now, criticism will be given in this part of the video. A lot of people see criticism on YouTube as a bad thing. I completely disagree. My YouTube channel would still be stuck in like 100 subs if it wasn't for criticism. When I started my YouTube channel, my commentary was terrible. My quality of videos was just so bad. And thanks to people being, you know, uh, criticizing or thanks to people criticizing, in other words, um, they help me improve my channel massively. And without them people, my channel would be going absolutely nowhere right now. But, you know, I think criticism is really important. It helps, you know, someone see someone else's view on whatever they're doing. And, you know, I think feedback is really important in the building industry. It, we've seen people go from supporters plus standard to builder standard already on the server. There's been about three or four builders who have been promoted to builder rank from Plot World, from taking advice, tips, and tricks from our builders and staff members. And they've honestly come so far. Zabalaba is a massive example. You guys saw how he started off and, you know, how his buildings are looking now. He went from borderline, you know, like supporter rank to supporter plus and a decent supporter plus rank and i'm sure soon he's going to hit builder so what we're going to do now is try and help out 555 cooley with his project so first i'm just going to give you a quick run through the house and tell you what i don't like about it please don't take offense to this cooley uh, we're only trying to help you out here so the garden itself i would not have gone with a stone base i think stone looks really bland and boring and this garden feature that you've included is a nice idea, but the connected textures are really just intense. It looks like, you know, someone's copied and pasted this garden and just slapped it down. It really just does not fit in. Uh, the gazebo is also pretty cool, um, but it just, it doesn't go well with the entire garden because this area just looks like a massive mess. I can see Cooley's taken some inspiration, which is always a good thing from other people, and included these logs. But this house, you know, it lacks the eco features. It doesn't have any solar panels. You know, a lot of people, they like to make like underground maintenance rooms like biogas or something to give it that really eco element. You do have a small modern fireplace, but I think that's probably going to be powered by electric in a home which is looking this modern. So, you know, I like the idea that you're trying to get into role playing your builds, but try and think about it as realistically as possible. I also like the fact that Cooley has come up with his own design of custom treats. You know, he's trying to be creative and trying to be original. And that's a nice idea. But, you know, what I said about this area it just looks like it's been slapped down and doesn't really fit in. So if I was going to redo your garden, Cooley, what I would do is I would make probably like a rectangular swimming pool. I would remove this obese uh, water feature right here. And maybe have a connecting hot tub like I did in my beach house let's build. I also like this little area which overhangs over the pool. You know, he's coming up with some good ideas. He's just got to find ways to kind of, um, I don't know, like finish them off correctly. But I would also put some supports underneath here because it kind of looks like that area is just going to collapse into the water. So that is the garden covered. Uh, for the front, 
what we're going to be talking about is the water feature. Nice idea, but it does look a little bit plain. Once again, it looks like it's slapped down. You've got to kind of build up the area uh, if you're going to put one of these down. And I'd recommend probably putting a little bit more detail as well. Some people like the UP team on walk or the up team on walk, they come up with this really cool sculpture in front of their house. And you can do something like that if you want to come up with your own kind of signature brand for your house. That's always a really cool idea. The other thing about the exterior we'll talk about is a walkway to get into your house. Once again, it's a nice idea and I appreciate the fact you're trying to be original and creative, but you know, you're not gonna need like a boardwalk like a castle to enter a modern home. And I do think it's a little bit on the like kind of, I don't know, um, can't think right now words. <laughs> it's a little bit on like the strange side. Um, so I just gotta say that. The other thing is the diagonal windows. Um, don't really work out that well. I like the windows you've done here and if I was you I would have maybe put like one or two windows here and I would have removed this little one here because it's just so small and since you have an opening right there it doesn't really make sense to have this window right here. You don't need like any more lighting and I think it would look a lot better without it. Alright guys, so now we're going to talk about this section of the build right here. So from this section of the build right here to here, the structure of the house makes sense. But then it looks like you try to create a box, an even bigger box, and then an even bigger box. And this section of the house just does not fit in with the rest. It, looks, it literally looks like you've got two modern houses and somehow kind of try to slap them together. And you know, that's it looks a little bit strange because of that. So I would try and keep the same style and you know, just try and make your build look more elegant and flow better. The next thing we're going to get into is the interior, and Cooley has shown us that he can design some good interior with this kitchen. This kitchen is actually pretty smart, Cooley. You know, I'm I would probably rank this like a supporter plus standard kitchen. It's it's not bad at all. But what we're going to be talking about in this build is your layout. I would highly recommend you look at some modern house floor plan layouts, like real life ones on Google, of course and get a good understanding of how a modern house should be laid out. You've got so many big areas which you're not taking advantage of, and to fill the areas, you're making creeper rugs. <laughs> I would have had a dining table here, dude, because uh, it's right next to your kitchen. I would have destroyed this wall, not included this staircase design. Once again, I appreciate the fact you're trying to be, you know, like original and creative. I would have gone with a conventional design of staircase, which a lot of modern builders use and they still use today which just simply looks like this it's really simple but it's really effective and i see it in so many great builds i would have done something like that it makes more sense and i think it would have looked better you could have then also deleted that wall it would have let more light kind of you know flow through the place and i would have also removed this swimming pool and maybe had a nice big lounge there also cut down the size of the window because it's like one side of the house since you already have a swimming pool here, you know, we, we ain't building a leisure center here, so we don't need two massive swimming pools. I like the idea of this section of the house, but like I said, from the exterior, it just really doesn't work that well. And uh, let's just get upstairs. Once again, guys, you know, I'm giving Cooley criticism, not to be harsh, not to be mean, but to try and help him out. So, you know, when he builds his next build, he can get supporter plus, you know, rank, which he's been requesting so highly. I just want to say, guys, that supporter plus rank isn't given out to people that request. It is given out to people who earn it. And we already have like seven supporter pluses on the server. So, you know, they've definitely earned it. I would also go with like a different rug design because the one that you built, you know, right here just really didn't look that fantastic. Once again, you were going with them diagonal kind of shapes, which really don't look cool. I like the idea you've gone out your way to make your own banners. That's very creative of you. But this bathroom, you know, once again, utilizing space, you've got this massive area for a bathroom. You've got no doors, so it's really open plan. And there's not many, you know, actual items in your bathroom. So it's a little bit strange. But anyway, dude, thank you for building your house and thank you to contributing to the server. I do appreciate it. And now what we're going to show you guys is actually the um, build the min shiver we made. Oh, please don't take me to my villa. It took me to my villa. Swap plot world. 
So me and Shivery, we actually took your house and we completely remodeled it. We redesigned it to show you, you know, what you could have done instead of building that. With the tips, tricks, and advice and some of our own personal style put into the build, we came up with this beautiful sleek house, as you can see, which just looks freaking phenomenal. We've got some nice, clean, custom trees, a smaller swimming pool, but I think it looks pretty sweet. I incorporated the same kind of idea. So we got this little area which hangs across the swimming pool. And since it connects to both sides, realistically, it should support itself. We also have a lot of the bush features which you like to include in your build, but we've remodeled them. So what we've done is we tried to take what Cooley wanted to put in his build, but we've just kind of adapted it, adapted it to a higher standard, as you can see. We've kept like the little kind of uh, shutter designs that you put in your build. And I also raised the building down one level. I raised it down one level because I feel you don't really need two, space, two floors in like a modern house. I mean, you can do it if you want, but with the size of your house, you could have just gone with one floor, nice high ceilings. And I think this build really does work quite well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, guys, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I hope you gain some tips, tricks, and advice coolly. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching Build School. Like I said, this is going to be a subscriber-dependent video, so it really does you know, help me if you guys could share on social media. Really get it out there because you guys are going to be the only ones watching this series for a little while and till it starts to kind of kick off like my life of an owner series anyway guys thank you all so much for watching love you all so much stay creative and hopefully i'll see you on the side